one day in our new investors community, which you should join by clicking the link in the description box, by the way, a user asked us to explain this stock page. Now, this is a typical page you'll find on many financial websites, and honestly, it can be a little bit confusing. As a new investor, you won't need to understand this page right now, but eventually, and as you become more comfortable with the idea of investing and researching companies, you will need to understand that page. Let's take a deep dive into the stock page as I explain everything you need to know, what all the jargon means, and so much more. Disclaimer, we are working with the stock page from Google Finance, but many of the terms used are used on all other financial sites, so you won't need to learn something new for every website you go to. If there is a term that you have seen somewhere but don't understand, leave it as a comment below and we'll get to it in our next video. We're looking at the Planetair Technologies page and on the upper left corner, you can see the stock exchange the company is listed on, which is the New York Stock Exchange and the ticker symbol. Every company has a ticker symbol. It's the short form name of the company that you'll use to identify them on the stock market. Below that, you can see the price it's currently trading for, the currency it's trading in, and how much it has either lost or gained. This page shows that Planetair has lost 0.090 cents or is 1.08% down from its last price. Losses are usually recorded in red and gains in green. We then have a chart that shows the price movement and performance over the period of time. You can see the price movement from one day ago, five days ago, one month, six months, year to date, and so on. Many investors use this kind of chart to see how well a stock has been performing over the years. Historical data is usually used to determine the next potential movement of a stock. Below the chart, we have some terms and numbers. We have open, which is the price the stock opened at, high, which is the highest price of the stock so far, low, which is the lowest price of the stock, market cap, which is the total value of the company shared owned by shareholders, and PE ratio, a popular metric used to determine the value of a company. We explained this metric in depth in our previous video. We also have dividend yield, which is the total annual dividend payments divided by its market capitalization. Planetair should have a PE ratio, but for some reason, Google Finance isn't showing it. Also, not all companies pay dividends, so they won't have a dividend yield. Planetair doesn't pay dividends, so it doesn't have a dividend yield. That's a breakdown of all the terms and numbers on the stock page. Remember that this isn't comprehensive and different websites will show you different terms and metrics. If there's a term out there that you don't understand, as I said, leave it as a comment below and we'll get to it. Do you want more financial content like this? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about finance, investing, and how you can build generational wealth with Bamboo.